Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bill. I am an expat living in the Philippines and I tend to be a prepper. Now this is a follow-up video on Meshtastic and Meshtastic devices and today I'm going to try to highlight the T-Deck Plus here and we'll go into that but it's a little bit longer video and I broke it up into uh, uh, chapters so you can kind of skip around. Uh, after this intro here there's going to be a two-week status of where I was at two weeks ago and then um, I'll get into the review and set up I haven't unboxed this yet so I'll do the unboxing to set up the T-Deck Plus I'm excited about that so stay tuned so right here you can see that I have the Helltech version 3 with an upgraded antenna and I printed out this little case the link down below will be there this case has enough room for both the uh, GPS antenna and the GPS card to sit right here and it looks like uh, this as an example and then it also allows for the battery component as well as buttons on the front panel so I'm still in the process I have to change this connector over to the smaller size connector which is just some um, soldering I got to do I'm just move things around there a little bit I do have the switch installed and this switch is going to be for the GPS to turn it on and off so a couple things about this case that's interesting is it, it mounts flush here and I'm gonna to have to solder uh, positive negative pins as well as the uh, GIO pins uh, 46 and 47 for the GPS and I need to make sure that it still mounts flush and everything clears. So I got that to go on. And then this case is going to be for this one little guy here. They've all been flashed and updated. Um, what I also have is a different case over here, which will be linked down below as well. And as you can see, it also has the space for the uh, GPS antenna as well as the GPS card. Now this is a Heltec version 3 as well with the the GPS installed. It all kind of fits snugly in here. The, the GPS unit sits down in here. The battery uh, will sit in the component next to it. Um, it. It has a switch as well in the front. Now this print didn't come out too clean, but I wasn't going to reprint it um, just for the aesthetics of the on-off switch, but um, I'll link this down below. I think it's a good little case for the Heltec 3, and I think it's going to be cool right so I got that going on as well now for the t-beams I also printed out a case here that takes the the battery flash these devices got them set up as well this comes with an onboard GPS but I couldn't get it to lock onto a, a satellite so I'm, I'm still playing with that I'm gonna learn more about that and over here I have my big project all right, so I took another T-beam. Now this one, I printed out this little stand. It works great, right? So I can work on it and play with it and hold it. And uh, it will fit inside this utility box. And it works with this large outdoor antenna that you see here. Let me set that down off the side. And my plan here in this box is I'm going to have this little Romas uh, two-port battery and I'm going to have it run the power for both the uh, T-beam as well as I got a Raspberry Pi that's going to go in here and I want to run that bulletin board BBS chat stuff that I will link down below as well and I'm also going to put this USB based um, 5 volt charger on this box so my point is, is what I'm trying to get here is I'm trying to get uh, an outdoor long range solar chargeable drop and forget type of setup here. I am waiting for some stuff to come in and that is what I've done in two weeks with the radio. I've done a lot of learning, a lot of ordering parts and supplies. I, I've got different kind of antenna to try like this one here versus these guys here you know, versus the large one you see here. And I got several different battery packs that came in. 
So I'm trying to get the right combination of everything to work. Now I only have the four radios, but I, that's a good start, right? I want to get some rack wireless in. I might order those, but I want to get these four complete and try to see if I can get this solar box set up on my porch and patio. And I want to make sure that it will run for a week by itself before I go through the problems of mounting it up on the hill somewhere. But that is my update. That is where I'm at right now. Uh, stay tuned and you will see more as I learn more. Thank you. All right, guys, welcome back. So if you watch that part where I was showing you what I was really enthusiastic about, um, where I picked up a couple T-beams and uh, printed some cases for those, uh, the links will be down below on those cases. I do like that, but I have not done or touched any of this stuff since. So I have a lot of projects going on and this one just kind of got kicked to the side. Uh, but then I did see that they came out um, with this T-Deck Plus. And it's really got everything I wanted. I was looking into building the case and putting my own keyboard and everything into it. Um, but I really like the look of this and I hope it's gonna be everything I want. So let me tell you what I got set up here. I have one of the T-Decks here already set up with uh, an antenna and it is paired uh, with this Android phone. You can see it's got 100% charge because I do have it plugged into a power supply and it's the Pepper 3. So hopefully, let's see what we get here. I'm anticipating, I haven't turned this on yet, I'm assuming it's got a charge. What else, is anything else in the box here? All right, so it only comes with the device itself. Let me set that out of the way. And we can sit here and see that it has <laughs> Reminds me 100% of my old Blackberry I had at Intel, to be honest with you. So what we got here is we have a, a pretty hard case. I did notice right away that it had a standard uh, camera mount on the back, which would be pretty cool. I think that's going to come in handy for the way I want to deploy this particular device. Uh, let's see how I can turn it on. The button on the side here turns it on. I pushed it. Nothing. How about that? Maybe this switch here. All right, so the device, press and hold. Let's try these different ways. All right, so this guy came with no charge, it looks like. So I am going to remedy that here real quick. Let's see what happens if I plug it in here. There is a USB-C power on the bottom here. Um, these are speakers, I believe. And there's a microphone on each side. Let me, let me go with some of the specs here real quick before it powered up. Microphone on each side, um, speakers. This device can be used for a lot of things other than Mesh-tastic. I ordered this preloaded with Mesh-tastic, so hopefully it is. Um, it has a built-in GPS. It has several other cool things that I think I'm going to like besides the touch screen. Um, it does offer uh, Bluetooth um, and 2.4 gigahertz wire as well. It's running the Adreno platform and I believe it comes with 16 megs of flash RAM and it has PS RAM of 8 megs. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if this pinout is for battery or, or what this is exactly but uh, there is this pinout here and it does have a spot for a card, a data card. Let's take a data card in there. All right, so um, yeah, I'll put a screenshot up above of the specs that the manufacturers say they have. Well, let me see if I can get this to turn on. All right, I plugged in power. No immediate lights come on. Let me push this button again. Oh, all right, guys. So it popped up with Mesh-tastic. I just had to be a second here. Uh, it says long fast. It automatically joined right away. You guys can see that. All right, so I'm going to try the Bluetooth. It shows the device here. At least I believe that's the de device name. BV something, B21, I don't know. Let's, uh, an app is needed to use this device. Oh, you know what? Here's another device down here. I have a Meshtastic DFF. Let's see if that's the device. All right, so yeah, now it pop prompted me to enter this pairing pin number. 
I have a pair. So let's see if it's going to pair with that device. It says pairing. Now if I go back into Meshtastic, let's see what, uh, I don't have a device here paired. <laughs> oh, okay. So in Meshtastic, I'm just going to select that device. All right, so now it's interesting because it does see some of the chats here. So let me see if I can go in and configure this guy. Um, region, it says unset. That might have been my problem. So I'm going to set my region to, well, there we go. Scroll up and down, see if I can find US, because that's what I believe I set the other ones to. <laughs> well, why am I not seeing the US? I hope they didn't send me the wrong megahertz one here. Oh, it's down at the bottom. It's hidden if you can see it down here at the bottom. So let me pick that one. All right, so now I just set it to US and it is rebooting. So let's see what we get here. You know, I, I didn't... I didn't research any of this prior to um, turning it on, right? So, but now I got it in the same region. I wonder if it will see the other devices. So I'm going to flip back over to my PEP3 device here. And let's see if it's seeing. All right, so now PEP3. All right, so I, I did have to set the region. Okay. So now I can see. Uh, the mesh tastic in the same long fast here. So if I was to send a message here and I'm just going to hit the space bar and I'm going to type J J J J J and I'm going to hit enter. There we go. All right. So it was a matter of setting the region first. So I can see the J J J here and it does note that I talked to prepper three. All right. So I'm going to reply back here real quick with a bunch of junk. All right, so this guy's chirping. Now, do I just have to tap? The, okay, tap the device and the little sound turns off. Okay, so it said it got a message from Prepper 3, which is the T-beam down here. And it looks like I have more menu options now, also now that the region's set. It does, okay. All right, so this is pretty cool. Um, I might have to go in here and play with these settings a little bit, but once I change the region setting uh, by connecting it via Bluetooth to my Android phone, once I change the region to US to match my other regions, the devices do see each other now. And I wonder if I can, I want to connect back and see if I can change the name of the, this device here real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Go back into my settings. I'm going to change it back to this Meshtastic one. And then let's go into the settings for this device. It's still loading. Okay. And it's receiving stuff from Pepper 3. Okay. So if I, I can go in here, and I'm going to call this Prep Deck. Why not? And then it will probably force a re reboot. P... E, P, base, tech. All right, I'm going to call it pep deck. And hit done. It says rebooting. Now again, I don't think I'm ever actually probably going to use Meshtastic in the in, in real life, I'll be honest with you guys. But it, it's something I want to have in my playbook and something I want to have around. Um, but I honestly assume I'm just going to be using 
the uh, ham radios in an emergency crisis situation. All right, guys, I know I'm rambling on here, and I'm probably going to piece and chop this together. It would not let me change the name, um, and I was probably doing something wrong. I'm going to learn and play with this device. I still have um, desires to build my outdoor station and get it mounted up on the hill. So you will probably see any update regarding Meshtastic will probably be that video. Now, if you have one of these guys, let me know if you've had any problems with it or if you got it working like it should. So far, once I changed the region, um, it came up. Now it's just a matter of um, getting things to work and configured, which I'm going to spend time offline doing, guys. All right, comment down below. Uh, hit the like if you would. This is something I'm not scripting. I'm just like dropping it in here and showing you what I can see. If you're into Meshtastic stuff, uh, give me some pointers. And All right, guys. I spent about 40 minutes, and I finally got into um, the actual settings, and I was able to change the name to, let's see if I can get my camera to focus on it here, Prepper Deck there. And it's by hitting this little button up here I'd forgotten about. So get in here, got into settings. I was able to change everything. I got it working the way I expect it to work. Um, I'm not sure how far the range of this built-in antenna is going to be, but they do have uh, slots right here and here. And I have seen a video where someone has added external antennas to it. All right. So this is the end of this video, guys. Um, I'm learning. I know I make mistakes, but uh, I'm having fun playing with some new tech. So until next time, everyone, please be safe. Thank you.